In this video, we will explain in detail the steps of the RFP process, what can be expected and required of hotels at each point in the process, and what a hotel can do to maximise their potential for success. The first step in the process is usually a data collection, and there are two kinds of data collection that occur prior to the invitation of hotels for the RFP process. In the first instance, corporations will send a request for booking and hotel data, Hotels are encouraged to total relevant bookings they have received and submit these along with their hotel details. If a hotel has sufficient production, they can be eligible for the RFP. When this is the case, you will be sent a link to an online form that you can complete with the required data from the corporation and submit it for consideration. The second kind of data collection is where hotels have identified a potential partner in their local area and can prepare a business case in liaison with the staff at Supranational Hotels, this can be submitted to the client for their consideration. Once a corporation has assessed their data from the previous year and any data submitted to them via data collections or business cases, they make a selection of hotels who will be invited to bid on the RFP. Dependent on the system, the format of invitation will vary, but hotels will be provided with program documentation that details the requirements, details of the system to complete in, and a strict deadline to complete the bid by. Different systems have different requirements for completion, but the method for doing so is broadly the same. You will be required to log into an online RFP tool such as Lanyon, ProLogic or Sabre RFP. Each system will indicate what the mandatory information to submit for any bid is, but additional information helps to sell your hotel to the corporation. They will also include a copy of the RFP's documentation so that you can review the terms, conditions and requirements of each individual RFP. Once your bid has been completed, it is time to submit it to the corporation. The sooner a bid is completed and submitted, the sooner the corporation can review its contents. Getting your bid submitted before other hotels in your area gives you a competitive advantage. Therefore, it is inadvisable to leave completing an RFP until the day of the deadline, or worse, after the deadline. After submissions are received by a corporation, they will begin a process of assessment and benchmarking. This takes in a variety of factors such as the rate, the included services and amenities, proximity to the local office and compliance with the corporation's specialised requirements. Renegotiations may then be issued to refine the bid and improve its chances of acceptance by the corporation into the RFP. While agreeing renegotiation terms is not required for acceptance, they should not be arbitrarily dismissed either. Hotels are free to agree all, some or none of the renegotiated terms, as well as making counter-offers. After the renegotiation process is complete, the corporation will be able to compare all of the finalised bids it has received and make selections of which hotels in each city will be their preferred hotels. Acceptance notifications will include details for loading the accepted rates and these should be passed to those responsible for loading your hotel's rates. Rejection notifications will also be distributed and can include some explanation of why the hotel was not selected and this helps to inform hotels how they might consider future dealings with this and other corporate entities. After an acceptance is received, along with the rate loading instructions, the rates, rooms and availability can be loaded to the GDS and other systems so that the corporation can begin booking for their travellers. Periodically, audits will be run to check the loaded rates are in line with the agreement, so once it is loaded, future edits and changes are discouraged. This completes our overview of the RFP process. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via the methods noted on screen.